Hello, Hello. We, we are, are going, going to read Henry and Lance, Lance. The, the first book. Let's so read it together. <laughs> Henry has no bo- brother and no sister. I want a brother, he told his parents. Sorry, they can't, said Henry had it on first a friend on the street. I want to live on different streets. He told the parents, sorry, they said Henry has no pet at all. I want to have a dog, he told the parents, sorry, they're almost But first they looked at the, their house with no brother and sister. Then they looked at the street with no with no children. Then they looked at Henry face. Then they looked at each other. Okay, they said, I want you to I want you to hug. Hug you. Hug you. Henry told his parents and he did it. Merge. Henry, Henry searched for the dog. No, just any dog, he said, but not a short one, he said, not a curly one, he said, and no pointy ears. Then, then he, he found much. Mud had heavy, has lovely ears, no pointy ears. And not a straight fur, no curly, but mud was sure because he's a puppy. Henry said, Well, he'll grow. grow. And did he ever? He grew out the puppy cage. He grew out of the dog cage. He grew out of the seven colors in the row. And then he, he finally stopped growing. He weighs a hundred one hundred eighty pounds, and he stood three feet tall. The tall, and he does. I spot you're not sure, haven't said. And might like them. Then sat on him. Henry. Henry used to walk to school alone. Then when he walked, he used to worry about tornadoes, ghosts, biting dogs, and bullies. He walked as far as he could. He looked straight ahead. He never looked back. But now he walked to school with much. And now when he walked, he threw about vanilla ice cream, rain rocks, and good dreams. He walked to school but not too fast. He walked to school and sometimes backward. He he walked to school and that Mudge is big and happy. Mudge, Mudge loved every room. He loved the dirty dog. He loved the dog beer. Beer. He loved the fish tank. But all mostly he loved Henry's bed. Because he in Henry's bed was Henry much love much love to climb and with Henry and he loved to smell him. He smelled his 
lemon hair. He smell his milky mouth. He smell his filthy hair. He smell his chocolate finger. He then he put his head by Henry that he look at the fish tank. <laughs> he looked at the bear, he looked at Henry and he looked at and and he fell asleep. Much and one day much took a walk without Henry. The the sun was shining, the bird was flying, and the grass smelled sweet. Much could walk for Henry so he left. <laughs> he went down the road, sniffing the bushes. He then down another road, kicking the dust. He he went through the field, across the stream, into some pine trees. And when he came out of the other side, he lost. He was lost. He couldn't smell heaven. He couldn't smell his foot pro front porridge. He couldn't smell the street he lived on. Mud looked at round, around and didn't see anything or anybody he knew. He whined a little. All along without Henry, then the, then he lie, lay down all along without Henry. He missed Henry in bed. Henry, <laughs> Henry thought Maud would be with him always. He thought Maud made everything safe. He thought Maud would never go away. Uh, and when Maud did go away, when Henry called and called, but Maud didn't come. Henry's heart, heart hurt. And he cried for an hour. But when he finished crying, Henry said, Maud loved me. He would never leave. He must be lost. So Henry walked and walk he and he called and called and he looked and looked for his dog much he walked down on one road then down another road the sun closed down and henry ran through the field <laughs> calling and calling i love you the bird flew back and he said it beside the stream, calling and calling. And he tears filled again. But as he looked and looked the empty pine trees for his lesson dog. Mud called he called one last time. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and Mud work. Up from his lonely sleep, they came running. Henry and Mud. Every day, when Henry woke up, he saw Mud wicked. Wicked stood behind his head. <laughs> and every day, when Mud woke up, he saw Henry's small face. Oh, he said, They ate breakfast and at the same time, they a slipper at the same time. <clears throat> and when Henry was at school, Mud just lay or, around and whined. Mud never mm -hmm. went to a walk without Henry again. And Henry never worried that Mud would leave. Because sometimes in the, their dreams, they saw long Silent roads, deep wide fields, deep streams, and pine trees. In the dream, Maud was alone, and Henry was alone. So when 
while ago and knew Henry was with him, he remembered the dream and stayed close. And when Henry woke up and Jeremiah was with him, he remembered the dream and he looked and the call and the spear and he knew he would never love mud again. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, baby, don't be able to grab me. Hey, Sylvia.